You know, you guys saw that video of Joe Biden when he saw me this week at the State of the Union. This is the hat I had on. There's nothing that scares him worse than a MAGA hat. That was Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene reciting her brand new fan fiction about what happened at last week's State of the Union speech, where she showed up essentially wearing campaign gear and a t-shirt with the words, say her name on it. So now that's, again, extremely offensive because say her name was meant to draw attention to cases where black women and girls were brutalized by police and had absolutely no justice. In fact, Kimberly Crenshaw popularized the phrase uh, following the death of Sandra Bland, after she was arrested for a minor traffic stop and then mysteriously died in a jail. Okay, this was also used to call out the killing of Breonna Taylor, who was shot and killed in her own home after a botched police raid and so many other cases where there was absolutely no justice. And, and that's that's key. Okay, so now she's wearing the shirt because of Lake and Riley. Now, Lake and Riley is a 22 year old uh, nursing student. She deserves and will get justice. Okay, that was never in doubt. <laughs> That's the thing. The undocumented immigrant from Venezuela, who allegedly is responsible for Lake and Riley's death, has already been arrested and charged with murder. No delay at all, unlike the situation with young black girls and women, who, again, in a lot of cases, do not get any justice because they're killed by police officers. Again, you have uh, women like Tanisha Anderson, Michelle Shirley, Miriam Carey, Michelle Cousseau, Shelley Frey, Corin Gaines, Kayla Moore, Atashiana Jefferson, and India Kager, among many, many others who will never see any justice at all. Do these right wingers, does Marjorie Green ever bring these women up? No, only to say, if they do, that they deserved it somehow. So this is incredibly gross of Marjorie Greene doing this, co-opting a tragedy for a political gain. And then claiming, of course, then that, oh, when, when President Joe Biden ran into her, he was so scared. Oh, well, okay, well, let's look at the video and see if there's any, any fear in his eyes. It looked like he was gonna laugh. I mean, that's, that's more of like first confusion, like, what the? What is, who is this crazy lady? Oh, ah, it's just Marjorie Green. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> but I love how she's like, you know, nothing scares the limbs. So it's just like a mega hat. Uh, for one, it, it really does kind of tell you about her mindset. She thinks that it's a good thing for people who disagree with you politically to be afraid of you. Like, to fear you. It's not. Not if you want to work together to do good things, but of course, Marjorie Greene, she don't want to do good things. She's nothing more than a culture warrior, a bomb thrower. She'll do everything she can to destroy the other side, even if it harms her own side, simply because that's the other side. Do anything to own the libs. And that's what it is. It's all about owning the libs for her, okay? It's not about actual policy positions. You know, it's not about protecting lives. They don't care about real policy. They don't care about real solutions to real problems. In fact, the majority of their problems are either made up or wildly exaggerated. I'm not saying that, you know, no immigrant has ever done any crime in the United States. No, no, they, they have, but they do it at a way lower level than American citizens. I'm not saying that there aren't resource issues and allocation problems over at the border. Of course there is. And guess what? Congress could actually alleviate that by sending resources. Most importantly, being immigration judges, all right, as well as, of course, money for food and supplies to handle these migrant crises and to relieve these border communities that are struggling with resources. OK, so the thing, though, the reason that they they focused on immigrant crime is simple. Racism, xenophobia, culture wars. They don't want immigration because they believe it's going to hurt their election chances. I mean, I'm, here's the thing, though. Undocumented immigrants cannot vote, right? That said, if perhaps we were to put them on a pathway to citizenship, then one day they might be able to. And they will. 
Now, Republicans could play on traditional values because there are a lot of immigrants that come from places that are more traditional, that you could appeal to that. A, a lot of, uh, for example, migrants that uh, come in from Mexico and, and, and as well as, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the South America uh, and, and those areas, you know, Venezuela, Honduras, um, look, there's a lot of Christians in those areas, a lot of Christian influence. And so they could, they could appeal to that. They could appeal to traditional work ethics, but they don't. And the reason that they don't is because of, again, xenophobia, fear. They would rather play to white grievance politics than try to find a way to court people coming in here into this country in search of the American dream. Okay. In fact, most of the people coming over the border or most of the people coming into this country and, and becoming undocumented, they don't even come from over the border. They're not coming from Mexico or South America. No, uh, where they're coming from uh, is, you know, it, it, other places all over the world and they're flying in and overstaying their visas. Okay. And now that said, I'm going to get to some social media here that weighed in. Uh, one person says, of Biden, he was laughing in her face because she looked like a freak. True. Another said, it wasn't the hat. Another said, kind of like the white hood. Another said, love the wet red hats, easy to spot traitors. And then nothing scares MAGA more than the truth. And finally, uh, I interact with hundreds of folks a day and only one 80 plus Old white man, do I see wearing a MAGA cult hat in North Florida, no less? I treat him with dignity and respect, walk away and say to myself, bless your heart. Doesn't sound like a lot of fear there, okay? Because there isn't. You shouldn't fear your fellow American. You shouldn't fear have to fear your fellow human. That is unless, of course, they were part of the violent MAGA mob that attacked the Capitol and is responsible for uh, you know, a, a lot of uh, crime against people of color, LGBTQ folks, and the like. I guess uh, maybe we should be a little bit more, more afraid of people who wear those hats.